but it's the own goals scored by these men that have stolen the headlines. Ian Payne, ITV News. Paul Canaville was the first black player to play for Chelsea. In his autobiography, he says he was first racially abused by his own fans in the warm-up to his debut. That was in 1982. And uh, Paul joins me now in the studio. And Paul, this footage, uh, well, this incident has happened 33 years after that debut that I just mentioned. Do you find the whole thing very depressing? Um, very much so. It's upsetting. I was very upset and uh, very shocked, to be honest, um, after what Chelsea's done so much, I mean, previously. Um, obviously, this incident has marred um, Chelsea's name in the game. So, so, so what has not happened then since you first made your debut and, and the abuse you had to suffer? There have been various campaigns ongoing for decades, but still this exists. Well, well, how, do you, how do you contemplate all well, that? Well, it puts a, damp a dampness seriously on um, the work that Chelsea's done with regards to helping, working with, kick it out and red card. Um, today, everybody's going to, as I said, recognise what happened yesterday instead of what's previously been going on at the club. I mean, for next week, we're in the final at Wembley. I mean, we're top of the league, but nobody's talking about that at the moment. You do say that, you know, Chelsea's done a lot of work, and it has, but uh, remember, uh, John Terry, as captain, w was found guilty by an FA investigation of racially abusing another player, uh, and the club still kept him as captain. So do you not think decisions like that send out mixed messages? Well, it doesn't, uh, don't get me wrong. That's an incident that happened in the club involved, the way the club was Chelsea. We dealt with it, and the FA dealt with it. That's another issue. This is another... Um, statement here today, what we're talking about is something that Chelsea's not happy about, I'm not happy about. We do a lot of work with regards to diversity at the club and especially with the anti should I say, discrimination. Um, I do a lot of workshops regarding that and going through the secondary and junior schools. And um, today I know how serious that Chelsea will be taking this. I mean, they will be looking for those individuals, but it will be the fans, because the individual fans that know now with how far this has gone and will be stating out these some individual culprits that yeah they will be prosecuted by chelsea okay paul appreciate you coming in thank you very much indeed. pleasure